Okay, I want to talk about lists in SAS. Now, SAS provides the ability to create lists, and if you're familiar with JavaScript, you can think of them just as arrays. But you actually use lists in CSS already. When you're declaring a font family, you're giving a list of available font families to use. If you're setting up something like the border property, you've got space separated values. You're giving the width, the style, the color. You're giving all these different things in a list. So lists in SAS are just like ones in, in CSS. They can be separated by spaces. They can be separated by commas. You can pick. Doesn't matter. We can do either one. So here's an example of declaring one in my comments here. This is the name for my variable for my list. And then I've got these four values inside of here. Now this works. I can do it like that. I can do it with spaces in between like this. And like most things in SAS, the quotation marks can be single, they can be double, or in most cases, they can be optional. So we could do it like this, or like this with the commas in between them. That's going to work fine. Any of those is going to work fine. I prefer to be a little bit more explicit what I'm writing so I know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't confuse things for keywords. So I'm this is the way I tend to write it. I use the single quotes, so I use commas between them, but all of these are valid. You can use any one of them. Now, when you create a list, you have a bunch of methods that you can use. So if you need to know how many things are in the list, there's a length method. This will return the number of items inside of here. So this would give us four. Nth, I want to know what's at position two. So zero, one, two, Simon would be the element at position two in this list. I would get back string Simon. Here, I want to find out where Fred is. So this would give me back the number one. I want to find the index, the position of Fred. Join. We've got multiple lists. You want to combine them. You can join and append. You want to add something new to an existing list. You can do that too. Now, if you want to loop through the elements in a list, which is what we're going to do here in our little example, we're going to use the at each directive. At each and then we put a set of curly braces and we're going to, it's like doing a for loop or rather a, a for in loop. All right, so I'm creating a list here called pages, home product service and contact. I'm going to use these as both the ID for my body tags, as well as the class name for my list items inside my navigation menu. The reason I want to do that is I want to build something like this on my web pages. There'll be the body tag and I'm going to have four different pages. Each page is going to have one of these IDs for the body. Then inside my nav section, I'm going to have an unordered list with list items and the home link is going to have the class home on the list item. And then the products link is going to have the class products. The services page is going to have the class service. The contact page is going to have the class contact. So this and this are going to change or rather this changes on every page. And then we're going to have all four. Here, I will add the other ones just to make this a little clearer if you're still not following. So this would be products. This would be service. This would be contact. And this is our products page. This is our services page. And this is our contact us page. So this list appears on every single page. We get all four links on each page. This changes. But what I want to do is I want to highlight the current link on the page. So I'm going to say this ID, if it's the same as the class, this is the one I'm going to highlight. If this changed to contact, let's say I'm on the contact page. Now I've got a match here and here. So that means this one is going to be highlighted in a different way. It'd be something like this in the CSS. So the ID of the page, the class on the list item, I'm styling the anchor where those two match. If we had another one called Fred and this matched, I'd have that. So this is what I'm going to build. And I'm going to use the at each loop over my list called pages to generate something that looks like this. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, let's put it above this one so we can see it all on the same page. All right, so at each, 
Now, like a for in loop, for in loop in JavaScript, we come up with a variable in and then the name of the list. And then we put our curly brace. So this is a variable name that we're making up. We can call this anything we want. I can call it that if I want. But I'm going to do PG for short for page in pages. So this is the list. This is the variable that represents each item inside the list. Now what I want to write out is I want to put the first thing. So that's going to be PG. And then there's going to be a space dot and then the class name PG and then an anchor tag. And then there's my style. So this is what I'm going to write out. But I can't just write this variable here. I have to do interpolation, which if you haven't, if you don't know what that is, you can watch my previous SAS video on interpolation. So I want to bring out this. And we could put the body tag in front of that too, to be a little bit more specific. IDs are supposed to be unique. It should only appear once anyway, but just to be a little bit more specific, we could do this. And then the class name, do the interpolation around here so we get the string. There we are. So body with the ID something and list item with the class. That's the same thing, anchor. And then the styles that I want to put in there, let's just do a font weight 900. And we'll do a uh, background color, gold. Just to have some styles. All right, so we'll save that. We'll come over here and we will run this. And we'll take a look at our CSS. Scroll down through the page. Oh, we're missing the pound sign in front of the IDs here. But you can see, here's home, home, products, products, service, service, contact, contact. It's the anchor that's being styled. There it is. So all those styles are written out. We'll come back. We'll fix the problem with the pound sign here. We need that. Just like we have the period right here after the LI, we need the Hashtag, pound sign, octothorpe after the body. So let's run this again. Jump into our CSS, scroll down, and there it is. So body, if it's got the ID home, and there's a list item with the class home, then the anchor tag inside that is going to get this styling. And there we are. There is the each directive being used as a loop to go through SAS lists. So lots of information, lots of things to think about. Um, I'm sure you'll find lots of use cases for lists and looping through them. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.